Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's up, man? Zay having a back in the goddamn building, man. Hood Santa. And in today's video, man, I'm finna be talking about this is what happened when I stopped chasing women. <laughs> Woo! This one gonna be a good one, man. This one gonna be a good one. So, when I was a youngin', not too long ago, when I was a wee lad, like you motherfuckers, I was chasing ass, chasing these little scallywags. Trying to talk to a bunch of different girls, demon girls. Hey, how you doing? Can I get you? Hey, 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 can I get you? You're really pretty, hey. Man. And then it hit me, you know. It hit me. I'm not getting that many results going about it that way. And sometimes, you know, every now and then, but mainly chasing these chicks, it's a waste of time. It hit me. I'm not getting girls this way. And I'm wasting my time and energy doing this shit. When I could be doing something productive, building myself, other shit. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna take a break from dealing with women, chasing with women, texting back and forth, trying to get dates set up, trying to, hey, hey, how you doing? Are you free this day? Okay, let's 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 go for um, let's how about we go get drinks this day? Okay, sorry, I gotta cancel. Oh, okay. Um, would you like to reschedule? Um, I'll let you know. Like, bro, chasing ass, chasing these little girls, trying to set up dates, trying to do all this extra shit. Not really successful. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going on, on a hiatus. I'm not dealing with chicks. I mean, if I come across a girl in my day to day, cool, I'll talk to her. But I'm not like DMing girls. I'm not going out of my way to approach girls. Fuck that shit. I'm my number one focus is grinding, making that money, improving myself, looks maxing, all that good shit. Improving myself. I'm, all of that energy is going towards me. So once I started doing that, you know, I, and I, I went through with, with it 100%. I stopped, um, you know, DMing these girls, going after them, making them my, my number one priority. Just, they was kinda, it was kind of like a back burner type thing. And slowly but surely, I started to notice something. Something very peculiar. Slowly but surely, I started making more money. I started becoming more successful. The way I dressed improved. My overall physique improved because I was hitting the gym like a motherfucker. I was focused on that. Every single aspect of my life. I started to look better. I started to feel better. I started to feel more confident when I go out. Every single aspect of my life started to improve. Slowly but surely. It was like a slow, like I'm telling you. When you just put your head in the grind and you make improving yourself the number one priority, I'm telling you, bro, you are slowly but surely you're going to start to realize that you're you're elevating every single aspect of your life. Elevating, 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 improving, improving, improving. <clears throat> and the thing is, your confidence, the confidence goes up as well. And then I started to notice girls trying to get at me. Girls just, like, it, it became easy. Like, it's not even... Bruh, Jones basically throwing themselves at you. They they throwing you so many hints and so many alleys for you to just <clears throat> dunk that motherfucker. Like they just they want you to. And the thing is that y'all gotta realize is that the way a woman's brain works, <clears throat> if ninety nine percent of guys are chasing me, they're trying to get me. And the one guy, he looks good. He looks like he's on his purpose. He's not trying to get me. He, he looks like he's not even paying me any mind. I want him. That's how girls' brains work, so if you didn't fucking know. But I'm sure you guys know, but I just had to tell you motherfuckers anyway, bro. I just had to give y'all a little reminder. And I started to notice this as well. I'm like, I, I didn't even pay it no mind. I, didn't, I wasn't even consciously doing this. I was just like, everywhere I go, if I was at a party or if I was at, a, at the gym or my day-to-day -day, or when I'm like, you know, different places that I go and I'm just laser focused on certain things. Or I'm just laser focused on doing what I got to do, improving myself and getting the job done. Not really focused on like looking around at the bitches. The bitches are drawn to you. They like, who is that? Who, who, who is that? They, they're they looking for a reason to come and talk to you or put themselves in your, in your vicinity so you see them. Like, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. Women will just... They can sense it. They can they can sense that 
you're on your purpose you're not thirsty for the sex you're not really thirsty to talk to every girl you just you're on your purpose you are improving constantly that's the only thing that you're uh worried about and when they sense that they are drawn to it they 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 they, they literally cannot help it. they're drawn to it <laughs> so i highly suggest that all you motherfuckers who are out here trying to chase these women and you're not very successful you need to go on a goddamn hiatus, bro. I'm not saying you got to stop talking to women completely. Maybe every now and then if you come across women when you're out and about. But your number one focus should be on the grind, making money, improving, working on your body, working on your looks, every aspect of your life. Learning more information, watching informative things, not watching bullshit, not having TikTok brain. When you are on the grind and on your purpose, it's a magnet to these chicks. And the thing is, you're killing two birds with one stone. Why chase these women when you have nothing and you'll get nothing when you can build yourself up when you're improving yourself and you're getting chicks with no effort? It's a it's a win-win. Like, come on, bro. It's a win-win. You are killing two birds with one stone and it makes the most sense. You know what I'm saying? So this is the game plan. This is what you need to do. This is the best course of action for all you young guys out there, man. All you young guys, it's the best course of action. But the thing is, so many dudes, they think the opposite. Hmm, let me just chase women all day. Then I'll worry about working out. Then I'll worry about getting money. Then I'll worry about focusing on my looks. Then I'll worry about uh, getting more confidence or learning new things. Like, no, they do it backwards. They put the woman as number one. And that will lead you down the wrong path, my brothers. The wrong path. And you know I got y'all boys with a story time, man. Um, so I'm gonna give y'all boys a, a quick little story time to perfectly illustrate what I'm talking about. So I went out with me, it was me and three of my homeboys and one of my homeboys bought his female best friend. You know how niggas be with the female best friend thing, but I believe they smashed, but she was cool. Like it wasn't like his girlfriend. They were like one of some friends with benefits type shit. But they were like open, like he, she was free to do what she wanted to do. He still was like dragging in front of her. Like they didn't even care. So they was on some cool shit like that, but it was five of us. Me, three of my homeboys, and the one female best friend. <clears throat> and, bruh, I'm telling you, when women, when women sense that you're not pressed over them or you're not really trying to have conversation with them, they want to talk to you even more. So I understood that whole dynamic, but just out of respect, and just because I didn't want no drama, I didn't even like try to talk to her. I, I mean, I'll I, I be like, hey, what's up? But I'm not trying to like... Make no extra conversation, no extra, because I know how niggas are with girls that, that they sleeping with. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not really going to do too much. I'm good. Nigga, I purposely did not like really talk to her like that. She was trying to talk to me the whole time. Every time she would get around trying to talk to me, trying to get around me, trying to get close to me. I'm like, yo, chill the fuck out. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's like when women like sense that you don't want to talk to them, they try to talk to you even more. But the funny thing is, the one one of my homeboys was trying to talk to her the whole night, flirting with her all all night long, bro. Trying to stay around her the whole night, and she guess what? She constantly went back to me, trying to talk to me, trying to trying to. Man, I was like, this is crazy. And I said it to say, it's not really about her. It's just to show that, <clears throat> and this is this type of situation has happened so many times. It's to show that I'm telling you, man, if if you really like genuinely just really don't care about trying to talk to a junk, like you're literally just on your purpose, like focusing, you're not really trying to make conversation with her, she will go out of her way to talk to you. She's like, give me attention, damn it. Give it to me. All these other guys want to talk to me. All these other guys are giving me attention and they want me. Why don't you, why, how come you don't want to give me the same thing? How come you don't want to talk to me as well? What is it about you? Do you have bitches? Man, fuck it. Like, these girls are just, they're magnets when it comes to guys who um, are on the purpose and they don't, and they're not really tripping about a female. So, that's another thing to really keep in mind, man. But that's all I got for y'all boys today, man. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all boys in the next one, man. Peace.